Let's go see what the boys are doing. Oh. The union coffee break. Ah, uh, I see. Looking good. And this is security right here, this little furry guy. So got all the sides ready. Totally mouse proof, look at that. What's up guys? Welcome to another video. I'm Lori if you're new here. So as you can see behind me, my nice hubby, who's my builder guy, is making me a raised garden bed. And for the first time, I'm going to try to grow something <laughs> from seed. Um, actually, last year we actually bought uh, like the tomato plant and pepper plant, but they were already kind of like maybe about like this tall. <laughs> so they were uh, not from seed. <laughs> so anyways, this is almost as big. It could seriously be a coffin. <laughs> we could double it as one. Yeah, two of us. So it's funny because behind my, our fence here is actually a cemetery. <laughs> I didn't want to have, um, you know, that kind of soil. And plus we do have mice occasionally back here. So that's why I wanted it covered, mice proof. And high enough so that our huge dog doesn't pee on it. Yeah, the dog. Yeah, just the dog. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, he keeps me laughing. So I'll show you guys when this is done. When you go to open it, I'll put a little handle on here. Yeah. And open up with the top. Yeah. And then you can just set it there. Yeah, good. Loads of space to grow lots. Good, because I ordered like uh, how many seeds did I order? I don't know. Like a lot. I know you'll use a lot. But... Well, I'm going to grow some things inside, like the herbs, because I, I actually bought like an over the door herb garden organizer thingy yeah. for the pantry. So this is just going to be, I think there's like 12 things I'm growing out here and then seven things inside, something like that. I think that's pretty much great. Plus the celery. But this is good. Now the critters can't get in. Same with the birds. Technically, you know, if this goes well, we can build another one, babe, another year and we can grow berries. Because the berry, you know how the, um, some of the berries anyway, like the birds eat a lot of the stuff. Yeah. Just so you, you don't, uh, it's not open that something can crawl in around it. Right, because we don't want any mice. No. It's a vegan garden, no mice allowed. And no dog pee either. She said dog pee. No, I don't didn't pee. say anything about anything else. No husband pee. No, either. you didn't say that. That's not what you said. I'm adding it now. No, you I'm can't do that. I just did. No, no, you <laughs> said already. I have the right to make changes at any time. I tell that to Jaden all the time. I had to figure out which way to put the hinges. Oh yeah? So it closes properly in that. Anything you want to say in camera? My wife better love me. <laughs> she already does. <laughs> A lot, because you're making her this. And what keeps fluttering back here? I think it's a bird. Oh. I don't see anything. So it'll open like that. Okay, cool. 
Can't wait to start planting. So these are a little decor stuff that my husband has painted some of them. So we're gonna have to move some of these that are gonna be blocked by the garden bed. So here's my garden. I haven't planted anything yet, but this is the plan. So we got beets, and there's the seeds. And then I'm only gonna do one thing of beets there. Then I have some garlic, which I already started in the house. Look at how easy that is. Got two of them, because I feel like we go through garlic more than beets. <laughs> and then we got beans. And then beans, I'm only going to do one facing, but I have these romaine lettuce that I already started in the house. Look at that. So I'm going to go the, those, put those three here. And then I have red radicchio chicory. And then I have some edible flowers. The, the tag says marigold, but then there's this one. All of this whole row is edible. There's marigold. I already started these in the house. And I ordered these seeds off Amazon called edible flowers. And marigold's supposed to stop bugs or something. All right, then we got this dwarf blue, blue kale. I'm gonna just do one facing of it probably, and then I'm gonna put something else here, I'm not sure. Maybe tomatoes. Then we have the rainbow chard. And then celery, which I already grew from the house. Look at that. And I have two of them, a little baby one. Just transplanted that. Then I had this that I started from the house too. Organic lettuce butter crunch. So I just put that. So I just need a spot. I need something to put right here. So I'm going to go figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to do one little thing of carrots. It already comes in this little pre, this little liner thing with the seeds already in it. So I'm going to just do a small little bit of that. And then just a little bit of zucchini. So I really packed in a lot. But the thing is I don't want to do a lot of each one. I want to have a good variety. I want to show you, look at, check out the, how many roots are in there. That's my garlic. Nice. I'm going to flush them a bit. I'm going to put this directly in here. And it composts. Okay, so here's the carrots. Just going to do like Yeah, that's good. Okay. Oh, this is... Whoa. Three seeds, I'm just gonna do it basically.
I hope you guys, I hope this does encourage you to try some things at home, especially the easy ones here. And um, if you can get someone to build one of these for you or if you could build one even better but if not start a garden and you know what thanks to this COVID that's the only reason I started this by the way um, I've actually been talking about doing a garden for years and I've never ever had the energy to actually put into it and this time I'm like you know what I need to do it because you know as a vegan <laughs> I do eat a lot of vegetables and uh, for me to run to the store to put my mask on and my gloves on and you know kind of go there just for a couple of veggies it doesn't make sense so this way, I hopefully will have a good stock of veggies. We'll see what grows, but um, you know what? Start from start from the pots in your house, in your kitchen. Um, if you have a windowsill, start stuff in water. Like I said, the celery, romaine, garlic are the easy ones, and the green onion. I have green onion too, so easy. The green onion's actually still in my kitchen, which I'm gonna show you. So I'll just close this. So you see how, with one hand, it's kind of touching the thing here, but just one hand, Boom. He did a very good design. Just a little bit caught in some trees here, which I guess I have to uh, cut some of the trees. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the green onion. The green onion is insane. Okay, so you should have seen this like a couple of days ago. It was way more. Okay, so here's the green onion. So all I did was take a green onion, which I should do a video, but I just took a green onion. I cut the bottom part off the part that you don't eat anyway, put that in water. Within days, I had roots, and then I planted, and look at how long, these are like crazy. So every time we have a salad, we just uh, cut this, and it keeps growing. See, this This is a uh, proof here. I had cut some, and then a new one just grows. So crazy. It's the easiest thing. Okay, so here's another garlic. I just took a garlic, put it in the water, and boom started growing little uh, sprouts, so I stuck it in a little pot. Here's another celery I'm starting. So this is like my third or fourth one. It's just so crazy easy. This is an avocado. Um, I'm not trying to grow the avocado here in Canada. I probably wouldn't be able to, but it's just for fun, just to see if I can grow the tree. It takes like years and years, but so it's more of a decorative thing, I think. Here's another romaine lettuce, so here you go. Just cut the stem off and look already growing and here's another garlic and what else is growing over here oh, I have a couple of more pots but I just planted these the other day it's cilantro it's not really growing just put it in the Sun here and then this is a uh, red cord carrots oh yeah so some carrot seeds but I'm telling you guys the green onions celery romaine and um, garlic you have to do it. Okay, so I hope you liked my little garden tour and I will give you an updated video in a couple of weeks when there's actually more growth happening. So thanks so much for watching and until next time, live your life with kindness for all living beings. Take care, bye. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks, bye.